as I've watched leaders of all different styles, um, I think the ones that just try to be themselves are the most successful. Taking on the leadership of a 170-year-old company um, is quite a quite an interesting thing, really. When I got the opportunity uh, to become president, it was very humbling, for sure. Um, it uh, it really um, hits you uh, that this place has been around for so long, and all of the great people that have come before me, um, you know, only 10 presidents, and so that sits that sits with you a little bit. What I try to do is just to sort of cast the vision of where I think we need to go, look for opportunities for the business and look for things that could cause us problems and then turn them over to the team and the smart folks uh, in our organization to actually get those things done. And from there, I just help them clear roadblocks and so you really become a servant to them um, to make their job easier. So you, you know, sort of identify the problems and then do all you can to make it easy for them to, to overcome those. I've lived my whole life in Worcester, Ohio, and um, Leadership Worcester really opened up to me lots of what Worcester had to offer. And as a lifelong resident, um, I was sort of shocked to see all that I didn't know about the town, um, the inner workings, and then even um, a lot of the organizations that support the town on a daily basis. Um, it was a really neat program. Um, and, and you combine that with actually uh, furthering your leadership skills with Rod Welker uh, and the team. Um, there, uh, and, and I think it's just a fantastic program I would recommend to anyone. Yeah, being named the uh, Leadership Worcester Distinguished Alumni, um, to me, uh, is, is a wonderful honor, but it really, in my mind, honors those that came before me. Um, uh, the reason I'm distinguished is I got a job that distinguished people have had before me. Um, and so, you know, I'm the 10th president, but the nine before me uh, did a wonderful job in, in laying out this, this wonderful business, but it's not just those nine people, it's really all of the people uh, that have made Worcester Brush um, the company it is. Uh, I've only been here for um, five years, and the, the reality is, is uh, you know, the people that have been here the longest have made the biggest impact. Uh, and I just get to help carry on the traditions that they already started. And so um, being named Distinguished uh, Alumni uh, is really, to me, an honor to, to all the people at the company, uh, more so than it is to me. Congratulations, Ben Maybaugh.